I'm Claire Rice, I'm one of the researchers and neurologists at the Institute of Clinical Neurosciences in Bristol. We're very grateful to the MS Trust who've contributed in such a significant and substantial way to the funding of our study of bone marrow derived stem cells in multiple sclerosis. This study follows on from our early safety study, which was completed a few years ago now, and examined the effect of bone marrow stem cells taken from patients' own marrow and infused back into the blood. This study proved the safety of the approach, but also raised the possibility that some early repair was seen. In the phase one study, the early study, we measured the speed of electrical impulses being carried in central nervous system pathways. These appeared to improve in all of the small number of patients who were treated. We need to examine this further to determine first of all if it is a true effect and secondly whether this treatment effect could be optimised and improved further. In the phase two study we'll examine the effect of infusing bone marrow stem cells taken from the patients themselves in 80 patients with progressive multiple sclerosis. The majority of these will have secondary progressive multiple sclerosis, but a small group, 20 patients, will have primary progressive multiple sclerosis. We'll be examining the effect of infusing the cells over a longer period of time and also examining this in terms of the speed of the electrical impulses carried in the central nervous, path, nervous system pathways, as in our previous study, but also in, in, in the effects on MRI scans funded by the MS Trust. As this is a trial including patients with progressive disease, all the participants will have disability attributable to MS. We hope to see signs of early repair processes exerted by the stem cells themselves, including effects on the immune system and protecting neurons from disease.